Hi, my name is Nigel D. Salmon. In this video, I will be looking at the death registration form of Edna Manley. I will be looking specifically at the causes of her death. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. This is the death registration form for Edna Manley. It lists her basic details as well as the causes of her death. And I will be looking at this form in details so we can get to the reason for this video. We'll start by looking at the form from the top. At the top it says, Death Registration Form. Death in the district of Halfway Tree, Parish St. Andrew. On the left side of the form it says, Place of Death. For Washington Drive and we'll go over to the right side it says usual residence of deceased for Washington Drive Kingston 6 St. Andrew now if you had watched the video that I did on her husband you would know also that he died at the same residence. So both the husband and wife died at home at 4 Washington Drive in St. Andrew. We are looking at the farm and we want to look at it starting from the left. So let's start at the left of the farm. And at the left of the form, it says, Particulars of deceased. Date of death, and as we, it is widely known, whether you are reading it, reading it online or in books, Condition, Widow. Yes. So clearly she was a widow. Um, let me tell you a little about, just a little about her, her marriage before she became widow. Edna fell in love with one of her male cousins named Norman Manley. When she met Norman Manley, she was 14 years old. So that would be 1914. She met Manley when she was 14 years old. And he was 21 years old. Both were in England at the time. And seven years later, on June 25, 1921, she, she and Norman Manley got married in the district of Kilburn in England. The couple's first son, Douglas Manley, was born on May 30, 1922, in Cardington, England. In the second half of 1922, uh, Edna, her husband Norman Manley, and their baby son, Douglas, traveled by sea to Jamaica to live permanently. So the couple 
with their young baby son. Um, they live with a friend at first. And then they began living at a flat on Hope Road in Kingston. And let me tell you a little sad story. Um, while they were living on Hope Road, some thieves broke, broke into their home and stole some valuable things. In the silence of night, the thieves sneaked into the Manley's home and they stole Norman Manley's army medals. You see, Norman Manley was an English soldier. He, he joined the English army in 19... 15 and stayed in it until 1917 and he had received the medals for his bravery during World War I but the thieves went off with everything including silver trophies medals and cups that Norman Manley had um, received as an athlete while he was young and attending school. Just imagine that. Your army medals that you have earned during World War I and your silver trophies, you know, your silver cups and medals which you have earned, which he had earned while he was a youth in school. The thieves went off with everything. And this was in 1922, not long after they, after they had left England and came to Jamaica to live. But, you know, life went on. You know, life went on. And on December 10, 1924, the couple welcomed into the world their second son, Michael Manley. For their marriage lasted for 48 years, ending when Norman Manley died on September 2, 1969, leaving Edna a widow. She remained a widow from then on. Some women would remarry and things like that, but Edna had Manly as her Norman Manley as her only love. He was the only love of her life. When she saw him at age fourteen back in England, she knew this young man was going to be her future husband. And so when they lived together for 48 years and he died, she knew she would still hold his name by remaining his widow. So at the time of her death, looking now at the death registration form, she is listed as widow. Let's continue on in the form. Down below it says her age is 86. So she was 86 years old at the time of her death. Um, below that it says occupation or calling. And the person filling out the form wrote widow of Norman Manley. Now, I want you to look at this carefully. The form says, occupation or calling. And the person filling out the form puts, widow of Norman Manley. I don't know if you notice, but for me personally, I see, I see this as incorrect. Not the right thing to put there. I mean, being a widow is not an occupation. 
being a wife or a girlfriend is not an occupation either. So to put her occupation as widow of Norman Manley, to me, is just inappropriate. Because remember, Edna Manley was a career woman. She wasn't a housewife and just a housewife alone. She was a career woman. Edna Manley was a painter of pictures. She was a sculptor. And she was an arts educator. So out of all her career activities, they could have put sculptor. She was mostly known as a sculptor. Her contributions to the arts were very impactful and throughout her lifetime she had received many awards and prizes. So her career was well known. And speaking about her being a sculptor, let's take a look at some of her work. Here is Bead Seller. She did this one in 1922. In 1934, she did this one. It is called Negro Arose. She received a very important prize for, a very important award rather, for, um, for this marvelous work. Just look at it. She called it Negro Arose. So this was done in 1934. This one is called Profit. That's it, Profit. This was done in, in the 1930s also. This one is called Poco Mania. She completed this one in 1936. And in the same year, she did this one. This one is called Market Woman. And I think she was, she did this one out of her observation of women in the market. Yes. She did a lot of work as a sculptor. But I'm just going to look at one last one. And this one is called Paul Bogle. She did this one in 1965. Um, this one was a, a controversial one. When she did this, um, I'm going to say statue. When she did this statue of Paul Bogle, many individuals um, said, no, no, or some individuals rather, Say, no, no, it doesn't look like Paul Bogle. And the reason why many individuals were objecting to it was because they had a photograph, this photograph, of a man who they thought was Paul Bogle and whom we know is was never Paul Bogle. And so, when Edna Manley did the sculpture and it did not look like the man in the picture, they said that she got it wrong. But I don't believe she got it wrong. No, she did not. You see, instead of looking at the picture, which was very debatable, what Edna Manley did she looked at the, the descendants of Paul Bogle. She observed the features of Paul Bogle's descendants. She looked at their face, their facial features, their physical features, and she got something that she noticed that every one of them shared, some kind of features. 
And then she went and did the statue. Alright, let's continue on on the farm. Down at the bottom it says birthplace England. Yes. And I, I, I said that before that she spent um the first twenty two years of her life in England. Let's move on to the right side of the farm. And on the right side of the farm, we'll see the cause of death. So on the right side of the farm, it says, cause of death. Immediate cause, cardiac arrest. What is cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest occurs when the heart suddenly and unexpectedly stops pumping when that happened blood blood stops flowing to the brain and other vital organs cardiac arrest is a medical emergency well obviously in her case she died at home So there weren't any hospital visit. Let's look at the second cause of her death. On the death registration form, the second cause of death is asthma. What is asthma? Asthma is a respiratory condition identified by attacks of spasm in the bronchi of the lungs causing difficulty in breathing. Asthma is a chronic condition that requires ongoing medical treatment. Okay, looking back at the form, we see the third cause of death is bronchi bronchitis bronchitis what is that bronchitis is an infection of the tubes that lead to the lungs it can be acute or chronic symptoms include a cough and wheezing the fourth cause of death is atherosclerosis. What is this? Atherosclerosis is the buildup of fats, cholesterol, and other substances in and on the artery walls. This buildup is called plaque. The plaque can cause arteries to narrow, blocking blood flow. The plaque can also burst, leading to blood clot. So as we can see, there are four causes of death. The last one, atherosclerosis, is described as contributory. So let's look over her causes of death. The causes of death for Edna Manley are cardiac arrest, asthma, bronchitis, and atherosclerosis. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe, like, or comment. And keep up with this channel for more videos like this.